Right now, police are investigating a shooting off of 17th Avenue in Phoenix. Five people are dead, including the shooter. Now, let's get right out to Casey James, who joins us live. And Casey, did the suspect and the victims know each other? Karen, that is just one of many questions police are trying to figure out right now in this bizarre shooting that happened right behind me in the apartment complex you see. Now, did the suspect and victims know one another? Were the victims targeted intentionally? Or was it at random? Or was it even over barking dogs, as some neighbors believe? And Karen Steve, two dogs in the victim's home were found shot dead, as well as the four people inside. They heard the shots, too, so they were running with their dogs and trying to get out of the area. But he did see him walking around with a rifle. Witnesses say they saw a man running around the apartment complex, randomly shooting at people. I looked out my window, and I could see him, like, moving around the gun. And then he shot it at the, towards the ground. One homeowner said the suspect banged on his door before firing two shots through the door. I ran upstairs and grabbed my kids and grabbed my gun just in case he was going to break down the door. I just stayed on my, my stairs with my gun on my hand just in case he was going to come up because he kicked the door and I thought he was going to go inside. And he came back running and started shooting again upstairs. The neighborhood was quickly covered with Phoenix police and SWAT. There's a lot of officers out here. Heavily armed SWAT team members pinpointed the suspect to one of the two apartments they believed him to be. One of those two apartments, the decision was made to go ahead and, and to, to get in there and see if they could contact anybody to, to uh, find out what had occurred. Uh, when they got to the back patio area, they found two people who had been deceased, obviously deceased from gunshot wounds. Uh, they went ahead and, and made an emergency entry into the uh, apartment and discovered two other victims inside. A total of four people were shot dead in one apartment. SWAT quickly raided the apartment next door. They went in there and they located the suspect and he had uh, died of a self-inflicted, was believed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, at this time, police are not releasing the names of the victims or the suspect at this time. We'll continue to cover this story and bring you more at 9 tonight. Back to you.